Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and set up Java on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for install Java. And the first link which will appear here will be from uh, oracle.com forward slash Java. So we are going to install the Oracle Java on our Ubuntu operating system. So click this uh, Oracle Java link. And then when you scroll down here, first of all, you will see the latest version of Java, which is available. So at the time of making this video, JDK 20 and JDK 17 versions are available. We are going to download the JDK 20 version. So just select the latest version and then scroll down. For Ubuntu, we are going to uh, download the .deb file, which is for the Debian packages. So we are going to just click on this .deb uh, file. So I just click on this, which is going to start the download of uh, this uh, JDK 20.deb. And once this uh, file is downloaded, let's go to the downloads folder and see uh, this file. So to install this .deb file, you can open the command prompt. So just press Control Alt T on your Ubuntu operating system, which is going to open this command prompt. Or you can go to the applications and then click on this terminal option, which is also going to open the command prompt. So we are going to navigate to our downloads folder and I'm going to do ls. And here I can see this jdk20.deb file, right? In order to install Java using this uh, .deb file, you need to give this command sudo dpkg hyphen i and the name of the JDK file. So just uh, write uh, JDK here and then press tab, which is going to auto complete your file name and then press enter and then give your Ubuntu's password, which you use to log into your Ubuntu operating system and then press enter. You can see the installation of this Java JDK has been started. So just wait for uh, this command to complete. Now, when you execute this uh, command, you may see uh, this kind of error. And this is a very common error. If you haven't installed these two libraries on your Ubuntu operating system, the installation of Java will complain about uh, these dependencies, right? So the fix is fairly easy. You just need to write this command before executing the dot deb command, right? So just write sudo apt install, and then we are going to give hyphen y so that it will not ask us uh, uh, to uh, provide some permission again and again, right? And then Whatever dependencies you see here, I can see two of them right now, which is libc6-i386 and libc6-x32. Give both the names here. So just uh, copy the name and uh, paste it here and then give space and then once again copy the name and then paste it here. Okay. So sudo apt install hyphen y and then the uh, name of both the dependencies and then press enter, which is going to install these dependencies. So once these dependencies will be installed, the previous command will work without any problem. So you can see these libraries are now installed. So let's uh, once again execute our .deb file for JDK, which we have downloaded, right? Earlier it was so showing the error because uh, we had some unmet dependencies for JDK 20. So once again, let me just execute this uh, command and hopefully this time it's going to work. So now you can see uh, everything has worked perfectly after we have uh, installed these libraries and and then executed this dpkg i uh, jdk.deb uh, command right so once that's done 
you can uh, clear your terminal by writing clear command. Now, once Java is installed on your Ubuntu operating system, you need to do two settings. And I'm going to uh, show you how to do those two settings before you can start uh, using Java command. And those two uh, settings or those two commands are these two commands. I'm going to put all these commands in the description of this video so you can directly uh, copy and paste these commands into your terminal. So this uh, dpkg-i command we have already executed. Now we need to give this command. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And this command is sudo update alternatives hyphen hyphen install and then the path of java which is user forward slash uh, bin forward slash java and then space java and then this jvm file path right so just uh, give this command it will be there in the description of this video i'm going to press enter and you can see update an alternative using this uh, path to provide this path right now if you face any problem, right? For example, uh, you are, have installed Java JDK 21, then this command is not going to work because you can see the path here is 20. So if this command fails, then you just need to find out what's uh, the exact path of your Java installation. So for solving that problem, you can simply write, uh, or slash use user so basically we are typing this path right so user lib jvm and then whatever is the version of jdk in your case you just need to give that path so user lib forward slash jvm and then you can see i have uh, this jdk 20 but it in your case it can be 21 22 or some other version so go until user lib jvm and here you will see the folder name and th that's the exact name you need to give here in this command right in my case it's jdk20 in your case it can be different so you need to replace this um, uh, folder name here in this command right similarly we are going to execute the second command for java c and I'm going to just paste this command and then press enter. And this is also successful. Now, once you have executed these two commands, you can use this sudo update alternatives to configure Java. For example, you have different versions of Java on your operating system. Let's say you have uh, installed open JDK Java version. You have installed Oracle Java version. You can use this update alternatives command to config or choose your java version right so let me show you how you can do this so you can just write sudo update uh, update alternatives and then hyphen hyphen config and then write java here and then press enter and for now i have only one alternative for java which is the oracle java version in your case you can see multiple version if you have installed multiple version as i mentioned you might have open jdk java version you might have oracle java version using this command you can select what java version you want to use right in my case there is only one version so i don't need to uh, choose any version the default version is already selected let's check what version of java we have installed so i'm going to just write java hyphen hyphen version here and then press enter and now i can see that i have java 20.0.1 now some applications also requires java home to be uh, set on your operating system java home is a, a environment variable you can set on your ubuntu operating system and while developing some java program or using some java applications 
uh, some applications require Java Home, right? So let me show you how you can set the Java Home environment variable also. So let me clear the terminal. Java is already installed. So we can set the Java Home uh, environment variable. For this, give this command, sudo, and then choose your favorite editor. It can be nano, it can be vim, it can be any editor, right? So I'm going to use g edit here, which is the default GUI editor, which comes with Ubuntu operating system. Also, you can choose nano or vim, as I mentioned, then forward slash etc, forward slash environment, and then press enter. It's going to open this path in the text editor. Go at the very end and then press enter. And here, just write Java underscore home, all in capital, is equal to, and then give uh, these double quotes here. And then you need to give the path to your Java JDK folder. You can find your Java JDK location, as I have mentioned earlier in this video, uh, the Java JDK is uh, Java JDK is installed in user. So just write user lib forward slash JVM and then the name of your Java directory, which is JDK 20. In my case, it can be different in your case, right? So you just need to uh, give this path here. So just copy uh, the path to this directory right user live jvm and then whatever jdk version you have and then paste it between these two double quotes right once you have done that just save your file control s and just close your file you can also press this save button and then close your file right once that is done what you need to do you can give this command so let me clear the terminal and then just write source forward slash etc forward slash environment. So because we have set a new environment variable in the etc uh, forward slash environment file, we need to update uh, that into our bash rc, right? So just um, give this command. And once you are done, you can give the echo command to know the Java home environment variable value. So give echo space dollar Java underscore home, press enter, and it's going to give you the path of your JDK folder. So this is how you can set the Java home environment variable. So this is how you can download and install and configure Java on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.